This is an excavator I built my little brother for Christmas. Now to understand why I built this excavator, we have to go back two weeks ago. That's when I asked my little brother what he wanted for Christmas and he promptly said he wanted it. So like anybody else, I went online and I noticed you could buy a sandbox digger. And I thought to myself, that's pretty cool. And I was gonna get him that. But after looking at the design and seeing how flimsy the linkages were, I said to myself, I can make this. And so I took it upon myself to make an excavator. Now I had two weeks, a few days for each process, which involved research and design, ordering parts and materials, cutting, prepping for fabrication, prepping for paint and assembly. Now I gave myself some room just in case there had to be some modifications made. I won't bore you with the linkage theory as far as trigonometry because there's a lot that goes into it. I will, however, talk about the design method chosen. This design method is called design for manufacture. Now every company and almost every engineer uses this design method to keep manufacturability of parts in mind. You have to understand how your parts are gonna be made throughout the entire process. That way you're not in the middle of your design and realizing, hey, I can't make this. And so now you have to go back to the initial stages, spend more time and money researching and designing on how you're gonna manufacture this part. Large corporations like Honda, for example, their design for manufacture justifies the need for high cost tooling for their stamped sheet metal body panels because they're pumping out thousands upon thousands of cars. Now for this project, I don't need any elegant curvatures or sweeps because the cost of tooling and manufacturing will go out the roof. My design for manufacturing method is to buy off the shelf parts that way I can make this excavator as simple as possible and keeping cost and time down. Time is my main concern here. I have to keep my designs as simple as possible with these off the shelf parts. That way I can fabricate these parts relatively quickly and get them ready for Christmas for my little brother. I opted for a C channel design boom uh, box tubing for the frame and the base and sheet metal for the other components. Now as simple as this excavator may seem, there were a few failures along the way, but these failures actually turned out to be a good thing. The C-channel boom and bucket were too heavy and so I had to redesign the bucket, make it smaller, which actually helped out a lot and we had to cut out some material of the C-channel. Now that the C-channel has openings in it, you can see the load and, and see what you're picking up instead of having to look around the boom to see it, now you're looking directly at your load. Another thing I should have accounted for because I see this all the time at work is that paint adds thickness to material. And so for my bucket, the tabs and the linkages, there was essentially no gap in between them. And so when the articulation moved, the paint was rubbing and this will cause rust. Now eventually the excavator will rust because it's outside, but still I should have added just a little bit of gap. That way there's less friction and I can just stack on plastic washers to make up that gap. So that's the beauty of being an engineer. Now you don't know everything. You're not expected to know everything. You learn as you grow, you learn from your mistakes and then you develop your engineering skills and you grow as an engineer. So with all the boring stuff out the way, let's see the fun. Something <laughs> else.
I want to give a huge thank you to my buddy Steven, his family and friends for helping me out with this project. If it wasn't for them, this excavator would not come to life. Yes, I did the design and some of the fabrication, but Steven did most of the fabrication. So again, thank you, Steven. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see ya. This one's not lifting up. I think you jailed it. Well, when you did this, that's jailed. <laughs> oh no.